for that. Yeah. We have a salad for making everything. Say hi, sugar. Because Mondays are my day off at the shop and I kind of just use that day to also like not really record anything for you guys. Uh, every now and then I do here and there but it's kind of like a, just a, a day just not to pick up the phone and do much. But um, I did record a little bit yesterday but we'll see. But yeah, I'm excited because I did a thing yesterday. I haven't decided if I'm gonna put the clip there. Don't mean Maybe, it. I well, um, maybe I will. Maybe I will. We got a show. But yeah. Stay tuned. Me and the crew are doing something. I'm super excited about that. Um, we're just uh, trying to find, finalize anything this week. And then like I can't really put it out there because we're gonna start promoting and things like that. So that should give you a hint. <laughs> um, but yeah, today's Tuesday, chill day. I'm about to go do my nails. I have to cut my nails out, guys. Like, this length, I can't do it with the braids. Like, I feel like I grip so hard when I'm braiding people's hair. So, like, I'm going to, like, cut it down. And, uh, and then I'll head over to the shop. I have to make a grocery list. Sometime this week or next week, I need to go to the market. Not, like, a big shopping, but just, like, for, um, for veggies and, like, fresh fruits and things like that. But, um, I might try Malcolm and see um, their prices and stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a new week, new goals. <laughs> and um, I have to do a lot of like create a lot of content this week for the shop. And um, I am still looking for workers. So that's, you know, I've been a bit challenging, but we're working on it. And um, yeah, I just kind of like planning for what, you, you know, what's next for the shop and things like that. And especially like promos and stuff, like we run promos a lot every month. So um, I have to work on promos for next month um, and whatever we're gonna do for the December too, because we're gonna blink our eye and December's gonna be here. So <laughs> that's that. I'm gonna finish my tea and head out to start the day, you know. I've been doing intermittent fasting so I really, I don't eat in the morning. I just drink tea or water. But if I do wake up and I'm super hungry, I'll make like a smoothie or something like that. But we gotta get rid of these pounds, guys. I don't understand. I was watching some old videos the other day and I was like, that was me just two years ago? Yeah, no, mm -mm. Some people would say, oh, you look good. You look fine how you are. Well, that's great. I'm glad you guys like that. But for me, it needs to come down just a tad bit. You know, I just wanna feel good within my own body. That's that. Later. So 
I made it, guys. Seems like I'm the one this early at opening the shop, but <laughs> they're not here yet. So, um, well, one of the guys is here, so he's calling to see where the other ladies are so they can do my nails. I was thinking about doing my feet, but I think I'll wait out for another two weeks. But, um, yeah, I've been here before, and um, it was good. The service was good, and I felt like the price was, like, pretty decent. And it's really close to the shop, so, like, if anything, I can always just, like, run over there. But, yeah, so let's get these nails done. We are back, guys. I just came back from the shop. I just wanted to check on the girls, and I was like, okay, early day. Let me come home and cook some food because the price is outside ain't pricing. So I'm back to the kitchen again. So yes, I'm cooking. I don't know what I'm making. Well, actually, I don't, I don't want to say I don't know. I'm making a big pot of gravy, and then I took some turkey and some chicken out, and I might just like fry it up a little bit or something and throw it in there and then I don't know either eat it with rice or yam that's what I have at home um I've been craving potatoes I need to go and buy some yeah I'm probably gonna go to the market Ooh, I just remember I'm doing something tomorrow and I can definitely get things cheaper at where I'm going smart 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 um but yeah I should definitely try to take some cash out but yes I'm gonna cook this food and then just have a chill, relaxed movie night day and call it a night. And then I'll see you guys tomorrow. Y'all wouldn't believe what just happened. I'm sitting here. I'm on the phone. And I'm like, oh, let me go check my stew and just like stir it up. The gas finish. The gas finish. And I've been having issues with that. It's not the tank itself, but like there's some little black thing that I guess holds the regulator down. But like that thing is spoiled. And I think the regulator too is not really that good either. So like I think it's been leaking a little bit. So. I think that's why the gas finished quicker than it should have. <sighs> Thank God for my security guard. He just took it to try to go get it filled up and hopefully he gets there in time before it closed because it's supposed to close in like 30 minutes and he just left like 10 minutes ago. Ah, <laughs> oh, Lord. Help down. But thank God he was here to help out. But unexpected expense that I wasn't expecting to pay, but... I gotta pay because gas prices have also gone up too so i don't even know how much it's gonna cost i just told him to call me when he gets there and then i have to send them a memo yeah yeah hey ghana would you guys believe <laughs> my security just called me so that i could pay for the gas thank god he got there in time so they weren't close and then he was able to get the regulator he said it costs 300 cities now to fill up the tank. And the regulator is 100 cities. Last year, at around this same time, I paid 150 cities to fill up the same tank. Hey, I cry, Ghana. What is happening? Like, prices are increasing weekly now. Every week they're telling us that transportation is going up, gas is going up. Groceries are going up. It's wild. I really hope that whatever party that comes next, I mean, neither one of them are the best, but whoever comes would do something. Like, the money needs to be stable. So many things need to change. Like, oh gosh. Like, Ghana is becoming expensive by the day to live here. 
Y'all might have to think twice before making this move. I'm just saying. Get your money up. Get your money up. That's what I'm going to say. Get your money up. <laughs> we are back. We are back. Can you believe they were like, after the fact that I paid for another regulator, another guy comes and tells the security guy that, oh, um, it's 150, not 100. So now they had to give him, because he's like, he was fighting with them and he just had to leave. So they had to give him the 100 that I originally sent. So now when I go into town tomorrow or Thursday, I have to buy a new one and just come and replace it. But yeah, at least I can cook my food because I wasn't planning on buying any dinner. <laughs> this is supposed to be my dinner. So <laughs> I had to cook so I can eat. So let's finish this cooking. Whew, Lord have mercy. Give me the strength. <laughs> Good morning, family. I am in front of the shop. I am waiting for Nana to come get me. We're going to Cape Coast, but when we're on our way or when we get there, I'll tell you guys a little bit more about it, but I'm just waiting right now for her to come get me. And yeah, this place is noisy, so I don't want to really talk much. So I'll see you guys later. Guys, Bye. look at Sugar. Say hi, Sugar. <laughs> Guys, look at this is the Kaswa Kip Coast Road. They dug so much. Look at the hole. <laughs> Tell the people what we're doing here. So we are in the Perales mm -hmm. in Ampigny in the central region of Ghana. Mm -hmm. We're here to survey the property and to sh think about how we can show it to everybody. So that's what we're doing. It's the private beach, cabin, privacy, mm -hmm. luxury. No, I mean, Accra. Think yeah. about it. Clean water. How many acres again, she said? Um, it's 24 plots. So how many acres is it? Six. Uh, Good by six. Oh my God. Anyway, Eight. 24 plots divided Eight. by six is how many acres it is. <laughs> and you're planning on developing the whole Eight. land. Eight, Eight, Eight acres. acres. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're surveying and you guys are going to see the interior. It's amazing. When you come to Ghana, book it. I'll leave the link with Gabby. So she puts it in. It's on Airbnb. You guys can book it. As I'm rambling about this place, I wanted to show you guys just a quick, quick snippet of how this gorgeous place looks like. So the girls and I sit down and chit chat about all the different plans we have for this place and how we can showcase it the best. So stay tuned for more information and details and videos about this lovely location. to the next location <laughs> and then we head back to Accra so see y'all there
After visiting three listings, we had so many IDs and content that we wanted to create for these places, but we are going to create a separate video and give you more information on how you can book your stay next time you come to Ghana. We got pineapples, and we got a whole bunch of stuff. I'm over here stuffing my face, y'all. Hold on. Come <laughs> What did you buy? Sure. How much was the shrimp? Oh, it's 10 cities. 10 cities? Uh-huh. What's up? I just slowed down on 90. We got shrimps. And then... Oh, yeah, no. I got octopus. And why is that tissue? And then... It's the back. Yam and chope. All we doing is eating today. And what is this? That's shrimp. That's, That's shrimp. shrimp. We are back, y'all. Yeah. Came back with some goodies. We bought more, but like we just all split it up or whatever. Things are, things are so much cheaper when you buy out like in the central region and the western region side. So anytime I get a chance and if I'm in a private car, I am definitely going to take the opportunity to buy stuff so i only got really fruits though i wanted to get a few veggies but it was getting late and like it gets dark so fast and the road is so bad like they're doing a huge expansion it's crazy like if you guys have not been to ghana in a while and you have not driven to the kip coast takrade area the roads are crazy they are doing some huge construction like i can't wait for it to be done but this look like a project that's going to take quite some years because they have dug some huge holes and i think they're going to do an overhead it's going to be massive like i think it's supposed to like go connect like as far as all the way to the um the abidjan border if i'm not mistaken so like it's a big project but yeah thank god for traveling mercies we are back and um i think you guys are tired for, <laughs> tired of me for the for the day i think i'm gonna end the vlog here and then i'll probably do another vlog um maybe getting into more details about the whole airbnb stuff or whatever so yeah for now i'm gonna just gonna leave you guys there and then we'll talk more another time but i hope you guys enjoyed uh today's vlog i had a good time in kipkos and um yeah like just traveling outside of Accra just always gives you a different perspective about Ghana. I believe that you just see so much more potential in things outside because Accra, of course, is so crowded and everything now. But um, I understand why people now come and want to live in Cape Coast. I get it. I totally get it. I get it now. But um, yes, yeah, so we'll talk more about business wise and things like that. And um, another video, I think I'm going to do a separate sit down video talking more about businesses and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. And thank you guys. And I'll see you on the next vlog. Oh, 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 oh,